I don't report on this a lot, and I, every time I see this every single time, I don't like to report on it, but if this is the only thing that we can discuss on and report on, then it has to happen, guys. There is a ban wave going on, and it has to deal with the fast catch trick, and it's been, the fast catch trick has been out there for years. It's been out there, the glitch, it's a glitch. Um, and their Nerfantic is going to fix it. If you got affected by this, uh, band wave of the fast catch trick, uh, especially if you are a legit player, I don't care how you play guys, you play, you spoof, you don't spoof, I don't care. Uh, but if you are a legit player and you got affected by this, they will fix it. It sucks when I had to report on this because it's, we have a big event right now going on, Fashion Week. You want to get that shiny, brand new shiny, Gothita. You want to get that one, and you're gonna might you might miss on it if they don't fix it real fast. If they don't fix that ban and get rid of that ban on your account, because you haven't done nothing. All you're doing is catching the catching the Pokemon real fast, because you don't want you don't have time. You don't have time to focus on catching Pokemon. If this was the mainline series game, I, I could see why they don't want to have a catch, a fast catch trick. But this is Pokemon Go, and you're on the go, guys. This is, this is the reason why it's called Pokemon Go. And we are on the go. We are moving fast. We are walking, running, catching, everything. And we don't want to have spend too much time on it. I just did a video uh, yesterday on, like, we don't want to waste time. And uh, we were talking about research tasks. And uh, the reason why we get rid of some because we don't have time to finish those, uh, especially the tough ones, they are plus and stuff like that. So we rely on this trick. Uh, we rely on the fast track uh, trick. If you don't know how to do it, there's multiple videos on YouTube. If you want to learn how to do it, there, it's right there. I don't. I don't recommend doing it right now since there is, of course, a wave of bands going <laughs> out right now and. Uh, we can't do nothing about that, guys. We can't do nothing. They said they're fixing it. Hopefully, they fix it uh, in a couple of days or in two days or a few days uh, before this uh, Fashion Week uh, is over. If you got hit, guys. Trainers, a new bandwidth has been reported widely across social media. Uh, it, there's always a bandwidth every two, three months. Uh, we, there's always a bandwidth because... How people play. Uh, sometimes it's not intentional. Sometimes it is intentional because uh, some people do get some people le uh, some legit players do get hit when it comes to these ban waves, and it sucks. And I don't want anybody to lose their account. It's something that you work very hard for. This is why I don't like reporting on these uh, ban waves. I don't report them report on them a lot because I want to have. Uh, I want to have a joyous conversation, discussion about what's the topic at hand, and this is what is at hand. I know some people will say, hey, we don't have to talk about it. Okay, we don't have to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. And uh, here we go. With many trainers claiming to have not uh, broken their frantic terms of service, caught, caught up in it. Many accounts on Twitter in particular have been sharing their banned messages have said they believe they have uh, been caught up falsely in a ban wave as they do not spoof or break TOS. <clears throat> so if you don't spoof, then you got caught up on it. You got caught up on it because they, they are now using a different metric on how to catch people. And I would assume they're using people that are using the fast catch trick. And there's, uh, there are things, uh, uh, the third party apps use fast tracks, uh, the fast track, uh, the fast trick, the fast catch trick, uh, way better than you can do it on yourself. You can, you can do the fast catch trick, but, uh, on, by yourself, but there's other apps, third party apps that use that trick. Trainers are being greeted by the below, <laughs> below screen, letting them know that they have been temporarily, they, they have temporarily been banned due to unusual activity on their accounts. This pop-up is 
typically linked with short-term bans with permanent bans being an email to your associated email address so you might not see it in your game maybe you caught it on your in an email <clears throat> that sucks guys i hate when there's a ban wave because <laughs> it's uh it's to catch cheating to catch bots uh it's to catch spoofers and some people some legit players get caught in it because they use tricks that third-party apps do and it uh, sucks we reached out uh, to Nerfantic after speculation has run uh, rife that it is linked with the fast track uh, trick so they they got they got word that this is how they're catching people this is the ban wave that's going on right now and they're be they're catching people with this trick uh, this is how they're catching people and of course if you're using the trick especially if you're a legit player even though you're not doing anything nefarious, they're going to get you. So I don't recommend using this until you get word, the community gets word, social media gets word that they fixed it and uh, you won't be getting hit. It appears that it is in fact being caused by using that popular fast catch trick. We have confirmed that Nerfantic, uh, confirmed with Nerfantic, that it is the cause of this ban wave and that it is not intentional. So and there you go. This is why I said, I said it's not intentional. They're, they do it on purpose. They're just catching people that are using it with third party apps. This is how they're like, they, they use multiple me mechanism with between ban waves to catch people. And, um, <clears throat> They're using this trick as a thing. It's basically the bot, the the third party app does the same thing. If you do it by yourself, if you 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 if you use the trick on yourself, it the third party app does it behind the scene. That's what that uh, the third party app does. Trainers should not be banned for using the fast catch trick. Nerfantic has stated that the correct incorrect ban should be fixed. As an issue by tomorrow, so uh, by by the time you watch this, guys, your counts might be back. If it's not, then it might be back on the ne in the next few days. Don't take my word for it. Talk to Nerfantic support. Talk to somebody uh, and get that information yourself. <laughs> in the meantime, we would advise trainers to avoid using the fast catch trick in both a standard and AR mode to be safe that's what i recommend guys don't use it don't use it right now use it in a few days then you can use uh use it again that's what i recommend don't use it right now if you want to learn how, if you never used it before then you don't have to worry about this you can just ignore this whole video and not worry about it but if this has affected you like they said in fact you got the word that they should be back by uh let me see november the tomorrow or would be november 6th which would be today uh, if you're watching it on november 16th it'll be today if you're when this video gets uploaded and uh presents itself you'll be watching it uh, on the 16th so the 16th will be the day supposedly everybody should be fine if not then maybe in a few six throughout the day maybe wait until that time so, I'm glad that they're working their butts off trying to fix it. Seems the new event somehow triggered this issue and is being worked on to be resolved. The fast catch trick has long been a popular method to, of catching Pokemon. I like it. <laughs> I use it. Uh, I use it all the time. Waste time. Uh, if you don't catch the Pokemon, you don't catch it. This is why I also tap the Pokemon. When I use the fast catch trick, because that tells me that I I didn't catch it, or I would wait the way the way to use it if you want to use it after this whole situation is over, uh, you wait until the third roll, and if it that means that it's caught, and then you can run. That's what I would. That's what I I do. It's wait for the third roll, third roll. I know sometimes there there you get three rolls, 
I think that's a new theme that they added. Used to be the, the third row would be automatic or the catch is complete. But Pokemon Go, uh, Nerfantic and Nintendo and Game Freak and anybody that everybody that's in developing this franchise and game the games that are in this franchise had a few wrinkles and sometimes uh, sometimes three is not the 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 signal significant of saying it's caught making it sure it doesn't mean that the Pokemon's caught three rolls does not mean uh, I've never seen it pop up pop up when it comes to Pokemon Go but I've seen in the new games, in the new Pokemon games, when three rolls, some Pokemon do pop up. And I, I would assume Nerfantic will probably implement that in the game. Uh, they're probably just seeing and waiting for th that. But that's what I would do. That's what I do when I use the fast catch trick is wait for the third roll. And if it does, uh, then I run out. But uh, basically fast catch trick, throw the ball, run away. If you want to know you caught it, you tap it. If, it. if you go into the catch screen again, that means that you didn't catch it and you do the same thing all over again. Want to learn how to do it? Uh, wait until a few days and then there's always there's a bunch of videos on how to do the fast catch trick. Especially during events like GoFest or the tours for the hardcore grinders. In fact, we've um, shared articles on how to do it in the past to help Optimize your gameplay if you have been impacted by this ban. Um, so yeah, uh, cat, fast cat trick is the best thing to have, and I don't see them getting rid of it, especially if if people rely on it a lot. A lot, a lot of people rely on this trick. Uh, they, it's a time, it's a time. It's not a time consuming. It's a time. Doesn't make you waste a lot of time. Make you do a lot more things in Pokemon Go. Instead of waiting to see if you caught the Pokemon and then you, you didn't, you got to throw the ball again. It's a cool trick to have. And especially if you're trying to grind and try to get those shinies. Uh, if you want to catch everything, that's the, best, that's the best thing to have. You have been impacted by the band wave. Please reach out to Nerfantic on social media. That's why I wrote... I recommend it, y'all. So, these people are, are like me. They recommend it. Yeah, they also recommend you to go talk to them in social media. Hopefully, you get a reply really fast. Uh, maybe, maybe make an appeal or something like that. Say that, hey, if you never, ever spoofed, never, ever used a third-party app, uh, just tell them that. For help, uh, we are hoping all the bans will be lifted when the in-game fix is completed. But a, but at present, do not uh, don't know no, if this will be the case. Uh, they said 16th, 16th. If you got affected, guys, wait throughout the whole day. If you have not, if you have not gotten your account back or un get gotten unbanned, I suggest. To go to social media. Hopefully you get a reply in a matter of, of hours. Hopefully it doesn't take days for them to reply to you. And see what happens, guys. Hopefully you get your accounts back. Uh, I don't like talking about bandwidth because I don't like people losing their account. No matter how... I don't... I don't, Guys, I don't... Like I said earlier, I do not care how you play the game long as you enjoy the game let's see what's it fast catch can trigger a temporary ban at the moment this is not intentional fast catch trick shouldn't trigger a ban uh, Nerfantic is aware and working on a fix the ban wave should be remediated on November 16th so basically for whatever we just talked about that's just bullet to that just Summary of what we were talking about, but yeah, the guys, that's it. I'm sorry we had to talk about band waves. I don't like talking about band waves because I don't like seeing people losing their accounts, especially if you've been working on it for all the way since uh, the 16th of uh, June, 2016 of June, all the way to right now. 
um, in November sucks, guys. It sucks to lose your account that you've been working so hard on. <clears throat> Especially if you don't spoof. If you've been playing legit for that long time, like that long of a time, it sucks. It sucks just because you use a trick that you've been using for years and years and years and years and years. And then to lose your, to get your account banned for a trick that they allow to happen in their game. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, hopefully everybody gets fixed by the, uh, by the 16th, which would be today. Hopefully everybody's account is back and hopefully you enjoyed the game after that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this event, this fashion week, which hopefully you will get your shiny goth data after all this, <laughs> all this, uh, things that you have to go through with this ban situation. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, leave a comment if you did get banned. Let me know if you didn't get banned. Let me know if you do use the trick. If you don't use the trick, please let, let us know in the comment section of this video. And uh, hope you enjoy the video, guys. Hope you enjoy. I do read your comments. I don't reply to a lot of them, but I do read them. If, if the, the outro is too loud, I fix that. I fixed it a long time ago. Some people complained about it, so I fixed it. Uh, you don't have to worry about it being too much to your ears, hurting your ears. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, just letting you know that I do respond. Not respond, but I do hear you, uh, hear your voices. I do hear your comments. I do hear them and, uh, and read them. <clears throat> and try to uh, make the best videos out there, guys. All right. Um, also, I do sell cheap coins. If you're interested in coming to my Discord, you can get a, uh, you can ask other people that have bought that have tr trusted me enough to 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 trust me to give them those uh, uh, Poke coins, those cheap Poke coins. Uh, you can come and ask them how uh, what their experience was, uh, how they feel about their coins. There's a lot of people in there in that Discord, guys. Come ask, come ask them. Uh, these are set prices. You don't have to pick one of these. Uh, a few days ago, somebody uh, picked between seven and twenty-five. Somebody picked fifteen dollars. Somebody paid fifteen dollars to get an extra thousand or an extra two thousand. All depends on how 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 much you want to spend. These are just set prices. I the the lower the price, the lower the the lower. Uh, less coins you're going to get the higher it's the same thing the higher the higher the price the more you get uh don't trust me what i say guys like i said ask other people that are in the discord uh, i'll leave a link in the description of the discord you can um ask people there about the coins uh or you can read the feedback uh of other people guys don't trust what i say trust what other people say